The girls quickly change before heading off to meet Stephen Mizell in a studio on the Lower West Side. Mizell is shooting Brazilian model Giselle Bunchen for Italian Vogue. He will see the girls in his lunch break, but no cameras are allowed inside. He hasn't been seen publicly on film for over 20 years. The studio was kind of empty and it was really quiet, but then Giselle came out and we saw the back of her head. We were just in awe. We could not believe it. We were like, oh my God, it's Giselle. She came over to us and started talking to us and everything. Um, and she was just kind of like, hi Giselle, hi Giselle. And I was like, I know who you are. <laughs> wow, we met Giselle. <laughs> I was so happy we got a, like, a picture with her and everything. After the thrill of meeting Giselle, it was time for the most important go-see in any model's career. Stephen Mizell was ready to meet them. Didn't actually get really a sense of how, what Stephen thought of me. It's kind of hard to read. He didn't really say that much. Stephen Mizell himself was a bit more quiet. I don't really know what he thought of me. He uh, looked at our books and his assistant also took Polaroids of us as well, just yeah. to kind of have us on, on a record, record, record yeah. yeah. And, uh, oh, my brain's all over the place. Hopefully yeah. we'll get good feedback. That feedback will come from Ivan Bart, the senior vice president of IMG Models. He met Mizell after the go see and has the lowdown on the girls. He was very, very impressed with Ashling's personality. Stephen has a friend in Ireland and he called the friend. He actually got me on a phone to a woman that called Mary that he's friends with and she's from Kerry. She's actually from Belly Bunyan where my cousins are from. Ashling went first and I could hear loads of laughs and stuff from the room. And I was, that made me more nervous because I was like, oh no, now I need to make them laugh. He thought Ellen was gorgeous. And he also felt, he felt that, like, with time, too, that she was going to get polished. Of course, Tabea, he, he felt, he said right away, Marie-Sophie. We've all felt this, but it's absolutely, if Stephen Mizell references Marie-Sophie, I mean... Well, it's, something. It's, and it's something that she should be in, inspired by, and she should be looking at those beautiful photographs that Marie-Sophie has taken. And he thought she was really, really beautiful. Sometimes I wonder whether, I, like, I'm a little bit different just because I was born in Germany. But then... I don't know, I just think it's just me. I'm just a little bit different. He was very impressed with Lucy, and he felt like it was Vanessa Redgrave, and he was, he, he felt very inspired. So Stephen really, really absorbed each one of these girls and really understood who they were. The three days in New York have been hectic, and the girls have been working flat out. As usual, thoughts of the elimination are bringing them down. Every elimination, I never feel safe. I don't know, I don't want to like be too, feel too confident or build myself up too much in case, you know, I do go white and then it'll all be over. <laughs> Ivan arranges a surprise to mark their last night in New York. We thought it would be great if you go with us to a premiere. Welcome to the Rileys. Oh. It stars <laughs> James Gandolfini. If you watch The Sopranos, he's, uh, he's Tony on The Sopranos, and Kristen Stewart. <laughs> Today, we have Tori Praver here, who's a top model of IMG, who's walked many red carpets, and she's gonna help you get dressed. Tori Praver is originally from Hawaii and has made her name with her beach babe beauty. She did a lot of work for Sports Illustrated, which was so cool. She said that that was one of her goals in life as a kid, which must have been amazing for her. Are you guys excited? Yeah. Do you guys like Kristen Stewart? Yeah. yeah. Pick whatever you want. Come on, guys, try stuff on. You guys, don't be shy. This is my favorite. Oh, that's really that's nice. Really cool. I really like the clothes, but I thought that we'd be in more party style dresses. Like, I actually grabbed a big gold gown Ooh, at the start. Great and uh, then I got put in a little kind of black dress. Modeling is a great opportunity. I've learned so much and seen so many, you know, amazing things and traveled and experienced cultures and, you know, I wouldn't change it. In the limo, en route to the premiere, Tori gives the girls the lowdown on walking the red carpet. So when we get there, I'm gonna get out and walk the red carpet first so you guys get to kind of see how it all goes down and she's just kind of telling us to keep cool and don't act like starstruck, like crazed fans. So that's pretty good advice. I kind of needed it. You guys are going to be kind of all together getting your, your photograph taken at once. So there's going to be lots of flashes and 
lots of people screaming and <laughs> but it'll be it'll be a quick a quick walk and then before you know it'll be over so take it all in Curry to your right. Curry. 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 Go, go. It would feel like a bit of a celebrity when everyone's just roaring at you, to your left, to your right. Get used to that sort of a thing. Do certain poses and smile and look at them. It felt a little bit out of place, like, do you think they'll catch on that we're not actually really stars yet? There were so many famous people there. It was so crazy. We looked like crazed fans around the place because we were just kind of starstruck at everyone that was there. We saw um, Kristen Stewart and James Gandolfini and uh, Danny DeVito was there as well. We, he kind of like waved at us. At one stage people were already in the theatre but me and Ashleen decided to go to the restroom. Next thing I looked down I saw Danny DeVito and I was like, oh my God, and he said hello. We were just like, ah! Obviously not in front of him because we had to, you know, be cool. I was just like, hi, Danny, how are you? Wow.